Good evening. You are watching the news from the Sultanate of Oman Television. First, the headlines. The Research Council announces the opening of research competition in the project of Omani stories and myths related to places. The activities of Salala Tourism Festival 2019 starts today. And the ASIAD Group unifies a number of administrative and operational aspects between Muasala Company and National Ferry Company. Those were the headlines. Now for the news in detail. His Majesty Sultan Qaboos sent a cable of condolences to His Excellency Mauricio Macri, President of the Republic of Argentina, on the death of Fernando de la Rua, former President of Argentina. His Majesty the Sultan also sent a cable of greetings to His Excellency Evaristo Carvalho, President of the Democratic Republic of Sao Tome and Principe on his country's independence anniversary. His Excellency Sayyid Ahmoud bin Faisal Boussaidi, Minister of Interior, received a written message from His Excellency Chen Yang, Minister of Interior and Safety in the Republic of Korea. The message included an invitation to His Excellency to attend Korea Innovative Safety and Security Expo 2019, which will be held in the Korean capital Seoul. This came when His Excellency, the Minister of Interior, received His Excellency Kim chang kyo the Korean ambassador accredited to the Sultanate. The Research Council, represented by the Strategic Program for Omani Culture Heritage and in cooperation with the Ministry of Tourism, announced the opening of research competition and the project of Omani stories and maths related to places for researchers, universities, colleges and scientific centers. The competition seeks to preserve an important aspect of Oman's non-material heritage. It includes two parts. The first part is a project to collect and register Omani stories and myths related to places and the governorates of Dakhiliya and Dufar. The conditions of the research plan includes a proposal that highlights the importance of research and its objectives, its activities, expected benefits and samples of places related to the stories in these two governorates. The second field focuses on an empirical study for collecting and registering Omani stories and myths related to places in the governorate of North Albatsina. The activities of Salala Tourism Festival 2019 will start today and will continue until the 22nd of August. The activities in the festival are in various religious, economic, heritage, social, cultural, sports, entertainment, and art fields, and most of them are held in the municipality's leisure center, as well as external events such as balloons, carnival, and the village. These events contribute to the festival to simulate tourism from all provinces of the Sultanate and the GCC. Official and civil authorities are prepared to receive visitors to the province and provide all facilities and services that meet the needs and requirements of the tourists who are coming to Salala. The Royal Oman Police ROP Service Center building was opened in the Wilaya of Ibdiya in the Governorate of North Sharqiya. It came within the framework of ROP to expand services centers in the community so as to serve the individuals in the fields of traffic, passports, residence and civil status. Through this center, the citizens and residents can complete their transactions easily. This center includes qualified cadres and the latest technologies and communications. ROP also has strategic plans to open such centers in other wilayas of the Sultanate in addition to maintain peace in the society and facilitate other services.
The Ministry of Defense and Sultan's Armed Forces celebrated the graduation of the 18th and the 19th rounds of the Entrepreneurship Training Program. The ceremony included a presentation on the content of the program, which focused on the culture of entrepreneurship, available support and opportunities, applicable laws and regulations procedures, and funding and investment mechanisms. The training program aimed at encouraging employees of the Ministry of Defense and Sultan's Armed Forces to continue serving the homeland during the retirement phase. Oman Global Logistics Group ASIAD announced the start of working on unifying a number of administrative and operational aspects between Muasalat Company and the National Ferry Company. The group stressed that this step aims to reduce expenses, raise operational efficiency, develop performance, and provide integrated products to reach the best criteria and practices in customer services. It aimed to enhance integration frameworks in the sector of public services according to a systemic work plan, and the group had begun to implement along the last three years. Ministry of Endowments and Religious Affairs released the 6th Hajj Awareness Program, NUSUK, which targets pilgrims who are attending to travel for Hajj this year. The NUSUK program aims at guiding pilgrims on Hajj rituals and at introducing the role of Omani Hajj delegation and the services it provides during the pilgrimage. The NUSUK program includes a series of educational and awareness lectures that cover various matters concerning the rituals as well as the safety and health requirements. The NUSUK program, which started in Muscat, will also visit other cities in Oman to cover as many pilgrims as possible. Still to come a news bulletin. In Monaco, a 400 square meter eco-friendly villa is built in a cave. احرص على التأكد من بياناتك الانتخابية من خلال الموقع الإلكتروني للانتخابات elections.om انتخابات أعضاء مجلس الشورى للفترة التاسعة مع تحيات وزارة الداخلية Welcome back to the news from the Sultanate of Oman Television. His Excellency Sayyid Mohammed bin Sultan Al Busaidi, Minister of State and Governor of Dufar, received Admiral Ricardo Atanasio, Commander of the Force ENA 4, in the presence of Captain Eduardo Gutian, Commander of the Spanish ship Navarra, during its anchorage at Port Salala. They exchanged cordial talks and discussed issues of common concern. The Ministry of Education signed today an agreement with Oman LNG Foundation to finance the preparation of the STEM Educational Laboratory. Our reporter Saleh bin Khalfan al Rahbi has more details in the following report. In line with its keenness to enrich school students' skills in scientific innovations, the Ministry of Education signed an agreement with the Oman LNG Development Foundation to finance the preparation of the STEM Educational Lab. 
this program uh, to complement uh, the work and the effort that we have done. We have done around 10 reporting clubs in all uh, uh, the governors of, of, of Oman. Uh, this one now in Muscat uh, will, 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 will complement that effort and it is really addressing an important area related to uh, students and also to the teacher which tackle uh, the areas uh, of uh, science, mathematics, technology. Uh, and those are very important areas to promote uh, innovation and to promote also how those uh, students you know, acquire more knowledge and skill in this areas. The STEM Educational Laboratory will incubate the scientific innovations of school students in Muscat Governorate. STEM Lab will include several sections for scientific innovations, robotics, and Internet of Things. This lab will be implemented within the next two months and will be inaugurated in conjunction with the launch of Oman Science Festival 2019. This lab will promote innovation among students in the fields of science, engineering, mathematics, and technology. For the Sultanate of Oman Television, Saleh Bakhalfan Rahbi, Muscat. His Excellency Rida Rahmani, the Iranian Minister for Industry, Mines and Business, visited the Roussel Industrial Estate, which is affiliated to the Public Establishment for Industrial Estates, Medayan. The delegation was briefed on the nature of investment in Oman and the types of facilities and investment advantages offered to local and foreign investors, taking into account the strategic location of Oman linking Asian and European markets, the political stability and the continuous support from the Omani government for various investment and economic processes. The delegation was also briefed on the available investment opportunities in various Medayan industrial states. NEMA Group is supporting the e-census project for population, housing and enterprises by promoting the national campaign to update the data launched by the project Your Identity Data. In the context of contributing to the setting up of high-quality national databases and strengthening the community participation approach and urging citizens, residents and institutions to update their data to complete data matching and ensure their accuracy and comprehensive in order to build integrated national databases. The group called on its subscribers to update and review their data related to electricity bills, which include data related to the electricity bill number, account holder's name, and the civil number, besides contact numbers and emails. The Ministry of Sports Affairs held yesterday the preliminary qualifications for the clubs in chat competition. More details in the following report by Saleh bin Khalfan al-Rahbi. As part of the club's youth activities program, the Ministry of Sports Affairs organized the preliminary qualifications for the club in Shad or Islamic singing competition. Such competitions are very important for the students, especially uh, in the summer uh, when they're having a really big uh, vacation so they can uh, use their time for things that will help them currently and the future, uh, especially good things like this in Chad competition. 50 participants from the youth clubs in the governorates of Muscat, Musandam and South al Batina took part in the qualifiers. Uh, this competition uh, helps me uh, improve my skills in, in Chad and get use uh, of my summer holiday in a good way. The participants are really good. Uh, we are impressed by their level of uh, their performance. And uh, this com uh, competition will give them uh, the chance to improve their skills uh, in Inshad, inshallah. The club's competition for Inshad or Islamic singing comes within the summer programs implemented by the Ministry of Sports Affairs for the youth to cultivate and develop their talents. For the Sultanate of Amman Television, Saleh Bakhalfan al-Rahbi, Muscat. A new villa in Monaco built into rock face, which once hosted a fortified village in the 10th century BC, is now on the market. 
This innovative and environmental friendly building is built from natural materials. Here's a report. Monaco may be known as the glitzy hangout of the rich and famous, but it's not all penthouses and super yachts. The city-state is now home to a 400-square-meter villa carved into the rock called Troglodytes. In a cliff once topped with a fortified village from the 10th century BC, the house, which is currently on the market, is spread over six floors with three bedrooms, three bathrooms and a swimming pool. Contrary to traditional houses, where you erect walls and build floors, where you work by adding elements, here, on the contrary, we are digging into the ground, looking for spaces, sculpting the material. Architect Jean-Pierre Lot stated that the idea of building a cave came quickly with nuts to underground living, including a swimming pool in the basement, which he likened to a subterranean lake. The house is ecologically sound using recycled material such as wooden floors salvaged from a mussel farm and low-carbon concrete to create the rock-look facade of the building once the structure had been hollowed out. The client wanted to make a building that was innovative from an environmental perspective. This means a building that uses very, very little energy and that is built using natural materials. The insulation is made of cork. The floor is made of wood, recycled from mussel farms, which was underwater for a hundred years. The paint is whitewashed. The rock is made of concrete, but the concrete used is low carbon. Its energy consumption is also low, using cork insulation, water recycling and solar panels. And there is a shaft topped with flat windows to provide extra light to the back of the building. This is the Sultanate of Oman television. Before we end tonight's news bulletin, here are the main points once again. The Research Council announces the opening of research competition and the project of Omani stories and maps related to places. The activities of Salala Tourism Festival 2019 starts today. And the ASEAD Group unifies a number of administrative and operational aspects between Mwasalat Company and National Ferry Company. With that, we come to the end of tonight's news bulletin from all of us here at the newsroom and the studios. Thank you for watching and have a nice weekend.